Every minute over 400 hours of video footage is uploaded to YouTube. In total nearly 3.7 billion humans use the internet and its services on Earth. But how big is the internet in fact? Even though YouTube has over 70,000 video views per second and keeps an unbelievably enormous number of videos, it's only a single page out of the entire web, whereby the internet can be divided into multiple parts. First, there's the visible web, the so-called World Wide Web. It includes pages like the all-known Google, Wikipedia, YouTube, Twitter, etc., which we use every day. This division of the internet is often also named surface web as it represents the surface of a digital ocean which can be browsed by search engines like Google. Approximately 1.2 billion websites are accessible for everyone within the World Wide Web and every second there are new ones to be added. Underneath the deep web is located which consists of websites undiscoverable by search engines. Examples of deep web content are databases, some forums, secured accesses like email or online banking accounts, as well as similar related things. One is divided how big the deep web is compared to the surface web. A study by the company Bright Planet implies that the invisible web is 400 to 550 times greater than the visible web. Among all that data, you can find information from the NASA and the National Climate Data Center, as well as digitalized books from libraries. Though the estimation by Bright Planet can't be easily verified, thereby the deep web could be only a tenth as big. Let's continue with the dark web. This part of the internet can only be accessed by using the so-called Tor browser. It reached prominence because of criminal activities like drug dealing, weapon selling, child pornography, contract killings and many more. On the other hand, however, activists and dictatorships and countries with limited free speech rights utilize the dark web to communicate, as it isn't and can't be surveilled by any government, apart from the US administration. This is because the USA themselves built the dark web and the Tor network for military use cases. Finally, let's look at the actual size of the internet. There are several different estimates, but one says that the internet doubles in size every two years. At the time of writing this video, this value lays at 11.1 zettabytes. What exactly are zettabytes? 11 zettabytes are 11 sextillion bytes or an 11 with 21 zeros. If you printed out every single byte represented by a letter, you would have a resulting paper area which is 11 billion square kilometers or about 4.25 billion square miles in size. Thereby it would cover the entire globe with 22 layers of paper. Until 2020 this data quantity is expected to reach 40 zettabytes which would result in nearly 88 layers of paper full of letters. Then we would have a completely different issue than the climate change. And in 2030 we arrive at one yottabyte of data. With this amount of disk space we could capture the whole life of every human on earth from birth to death on video. Ok, actually what exactly is Facebook doing differently? Or you could convert the number of bytes into water molecules and enjoy drinking a small glass of water, since this exact amount is contained in 240 grams or 8.47 ounces of water. In the description I am going to link some further websites which demonstrate how large the internet is. And apart from that, thanks for watching, don't forget to like and comment this video and as always, I hope to see you next time.